Welcome, family, Mississippi Survivor here. And I got some information today. And I can't wait to get to it. <laughs> it is very tickling to me. It's funny. I, I just, uh, it's, it's so tickling I had to do it from the bedroom. I took it. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining the channel, Mississippi Survivor. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you got full, and I hope you put the rest of it away and gave it to somebody else that needed it in the family. Do not dump this food in the trash can because you're tired of eating it more than three days. Remember that something happens and you need to eat. You may eat the same thing more than three days. Just a little Q&A. So, give it to somebody that need it. Or another family member. Don't throw it away. Make good use of it. So, family, we're here. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Door dash, here we go. Here we go. Now, y'all know I've been just... On these folks, DoorDash and Point Pickle, I've been on them. I'm, I'm right now. I am tickled to death. <laughs> I know you just wonder, like, what is he about to say? I'm tickled. <laughs> so, apparently, family, the people for the people that now this ain't gonna be video for everybody, but for the people that's that does DoorDash or about to do DoorDash or thinking about DoorDash or been through all the drama and turmoil that's been happening with the company as far as being a driver, being misunderstood, being, being, and I mean, I got to pull this phone up. Give me a second. I got to pull this stuff up. I'm just tripping. Give me one sec. Give me one second, family. Let me pull this up. I'm actually going into the DoorDash app. And I just want to go into the ratings, the uh, ratings area. So just give me one second. I'm a little shiny. I like to put on Vaseline at night. You know, brother, get ashy. <laughs> so. I gotta make sure I put some on. Seem to be, well, it's busy right now. And the old dashing, but I'm tired. Won't be doing that tonight. I already did that earlier. So, now, we have your average customer ratings. You have acceptance ratings. You have completion ratings. You have on-time delivery or earlier, which each one of these is an explanation and all their own, trust me. Then you got your lifetime deliveries. Cause some of these I just don't understand and how this is going to work. So on a driver's standpoint, this is what we have to deal with. We have to deal with your customer's rate, customer ratings, which means a person can give you a bad rating for no apparent reason whatsoever. You could have done your best that you can do and still get one star. And you can't challenge what they've said. You can't see what they said. And you don't know what they said. That means it's all about the customer and the money that they get from the customer. That's what it seems like to us. DoorDash, you're paying attention. This is what it this is this is what it feels like to us. It means whatever we say or our opinion means nothing. That means absolutely nothing. It feels like you're telling us to drive and shut up. 
that, that's what it feels like. I mean, personally, it feels like it's in drive. Shut up. And if the customer don't like whatever you're doing, we're just going to keep on dropping your rate. I mean, I, I just started back driving for DoorDash, and my rating was 4.94, which was supposed to be a top driver. And two days is down to 4.91. But yet my completion rating is 99%. It's, it's, that's one of the things. Then your acceptance rating. That shouldn't even be an acceptance rating. I think that is ludicrous. It's just like it's just like some mess to just get you kicked out the platform. Now that they say that, now they say this, you don't get kicked out the platform for it unless you accept an order and then don't finish the order. Then, of course, your completion rating is going to go down and your acceptance rating is going to go down too at the same time. So I found out later that that's where I started back doing it, that your acceptance rating is... Pretty much, if you don't want to accept it, you don't have to accept it. You can't be forced to accept an order that you don't want to accept. Which I had talked to someone from uh, customer service, and the reason why I stopped dashing was they said that if you don't accept these orders, and your acceptance rate is going to go down, and it's going to make your completion rate go down. What? Wait a minute. How does my acceptance rate make my completion rate go down? It has nothing to do with me completing anything. I got to accept it to cook to complete it. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Okay. On time or earlier. Sometimes I've seen a time, I've seen a time maybe once or twice of what it is. Of uh, when you're supposed to uh, gonna drop your order to the customer, and there's some people that may be a little lazy on it, on that I would say, but then some not. So I'm the not. So I'm gonna explain to you what I do when I go to the store. Now they now they give you this option with when you within the app, and then the bottom and saying uh like what they can do to make things better. Don't ask me that, because I got plenty to say about that. <laughs> okay, but you can only get a list of things, and then you also you can go other and then just write. Look, if I wrote everything that I really, you guys really need to do as far as this is to, to make it better, oh, my God. Okay, so you get that. So when I get there, one of my pet peeves, absolutely pet peeves is, Time is money. I wish we can get on speaker with all the restaurants and let them hear the driver will tell you time is money. If you drag out that day or drag out that when it's busy, that's when they want to get that order picked up and dropped off. So the restaurant is a big contribute to the problem of us being able to get the order to the customer on time. Yes, they are. For instance, when it's busy, me, I don't care how much they're going to pay me to go to Garfield's, I'm not going. I went to Garfield's today for order for $7.75. Was nice. I yeah, I like to pay, but the problem came was when I went there. They haven't even started the order. You hear me? And remind you, this is not McDonald's. This is Garfield's, which is a full service restaurant. So if it's a full service restaurant. It's just like you sit down, you take an order, and then they go back there, and then they start cooking it. And then another problem is not only that. You still have to wait because it's people in front of you. They're not going to push you in front of everybody else just because you're a DoorDash. No, they're not. You got to wait on everybody else. Wait, you got to wait till whoever in front of you get done and they get to you. Then they cook yours. 
Then you wait. So when I get to the store, immediately, the first thing I do is when I see that it's not done, I go right into the to the uh, to the app where they ask, hey, what's the problem or what we can do to get better? And I tell them right away, busy. Of course, it's not drive through because there's no drive through But it's busy. And the food is not ready when I got here. They should have a two B continue to let you to say something else extra. Like, I mean, it was 30, 40 minutes. You hear me? For some potato skins and a freaking cheeseburger. Are you for real? So, therefore, that cuts into your time and whatever your time is to get the order to the customer which causes a problem with your own time or early delivery. You're not going to have an early delivery going to Garfield. Even when it was slow I still couldn't go in and just pick my food up and leave. I still had to wait. Of course, I was very patient. I know the people there. They were nice people. But it still didn't get me my order. And also, Taco Bell is the same way. I went there, it's the same thing. Slow. I went in Taco Bell and I was the only customer on the other side of the desk. Now, I'm looking through this restaurant like, uh, why is it so slow for me to get my food? And I'm the only one in here. Really? And why are you already out of something? Oh my gosh. Every time I go to, they out of something. What, what's the, is it our area? What's the problem? I went today. And of, of all things in America to be out of, guess what they were out of? I'm sorry to inform you, sir, but we're out of beef. Okay, I'll wait. You out of what? You out of the... Okay, let me see. I think the beef goes in about 90% of the stuff y'all got. The rest is chicken. And you didn't have beef? Fortunately for me, the guy had already made my meal before the guy said that it was out of beef or else I would have been calling the customer, which is another thing I do. After I write I write down or after I check off what the problem is, long line, uh, food not ready, uh, sometimes I, I, it's hard to get somebody to come here because I go to go there and I stand, I mean, people. When you go and talk about the drive through is right here. drive through is there and we're at the front counter. Okay, I'm at the front counter. I can look right in their mouth. They can see me. I'm at the counter. I'm at the counter singing, humming, whatever I can do to get their attention. Because I want to go ahead and get my food and get out the door. And like I ain't even standing there. So I'm moving a little bit closer. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, how you doing? You seen me here. I've been here for 15 minutes. You seen me. Like, seriously? Okay. So, but, 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 but. Yesterday, now I'm going to give credit what credit can do. Nope, that was the day, matter of fact. What the incident happened yesterday, this was the day. Today, it, was, it depends on shifts, too. It depends on who's on the shift, who's running the shift. It depends on that, too. Like, I went in there today. This girl was on point. She should be the store manager. 
when I walk in the door, you got a mobile delivery? You got so-so-so? Here you go. I mean, she already had the bag, the drink, everything ready, taped up, ready to go. I thought I was slow. I came back there. I did three orders there today. I came back again. She had the bag and drinks and everything already. It, I'm like, how do you, that was, how do you know I was coming? I don't know, but she had that stuff ready. She wasn't playing. And I think every restaurant should be like that. If you got an order, and well, I think I was at Garfield, and they said uh, the, the reason to be in, they said well, the order just came through. How did the driver get alerted to go to do an order before the order even hit the restaurant? DoorDash. I need you to do something about that. Yep. Please don't send a driver out to an order and we ain't, and then the food ain't even been dispatched to the people to let them know. Is it an app problem? Uh, what? I don't. What's the problem? I, mean, I don't understand why are the the orders the driver getting there before the order get that. This is electronic. We are not fast as electronics. So I don't understand how this is happening. I don't. Going back into this again. So, again, it's impossible to keep 100% rating on on time or early because that's out of your control. You can only get your food to your customer as fast as the company or wherever you're going gives you the food. If they make you stand around, ain't nothing you can do about it. You're just going to be late. So what I do about that is when I hit the store, and as soon as I find out we're going to be waiting, I text the customer immediately. I do not hesitate. Hi, how you doing? I'm Michael, a driver. Hey, how you doing? All right, I just want to inform you that they just getting started on your food, but I will keep you informed. It's been about 15 minutes, and I'm just getting back in touch with you to let you know that your food is still not ready. But I am here, and I'm waiting on it. As soon as it comes up, I will inform you and let you know, and also let you know that I'm on my way to your establishment. <laughs>